Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Henry Stuart Foote was a United States Senator from Mississippi from 1847 to 1852 and served as governor of the state from 1852 to 1854. Foote was born in Virginia, but in 1825 he moved to Alabama, practicing law in Tuscumbia, establishing a newspaper and serving as a trustee of what is today the University of North Alabama. He moved to Mississippi where he practiced law in Jackson and in the river towns of Natchez and Vicksburg, where there were centers of business associated with cotton and slave trades. He entered politics and was elected by the Mississippi Legislature to the United States Senate as a Democrat. It has been said that his strong leadership on the Senate floor helped secure passage of the Compromise of 1850, which, for a time, averted civil war in the United States. During debate on the compromise, a heated discussion occurred and Foote drew a pistol on fellow Senator Thomas Hart Benton, who had refused to support the compromise. Benton charged the Mississippi Senator after repeated verbal attacks. Other Senators wrestled Foote to the floor, took away his gun, and locked it in a drawer. Foote served in the Confederate Congresses where he criticized the war policies of Jefferson Davis. He later attempted to cross Union lines but was arrested by Confederates and members of the Confederate Congress unsuccessfully attempted to have him expelled from the body. Later, Foote fled to Canada and then to London, but later still returned to the U.S. after the war where he settled in Washington, D.C., joined the Republican Party, and practiced law. Foote died 136 years ago tomorrow, that is May 20th, 1880 in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Philip Carvin, and like Henry Stewart Foote, I'm a practicing attorney here in Natchez, Mississippi. This has been your Natchez History Minute.